Now with GMA Out Loud celebrating Pride Month. And this morning, we're looking at a situation many families go through, including same-sex parents, how their children interact with the donors who are their biological fathers. Becky Worley has that story for us. When lesbians like Les Milstein and Noelle Plummer decide to start a family, there's a big hurdle. We're like, okay, how do we do this? We went to the donor bank. These clinics help same-sex couples, single women, or those with fertility issues find a sperm donor. We were looking at donor profiles and we wanted to find someone who we thought would be open and friendly. The Ethics Committee of the American Society of Reproductive Medicine strongly advocates for identity release, so when the child turns 18, they can contact their donor if interested. I think biological father is a good term to use. Someone like Sydney, Les and Noelle's daughter, who reached out to Ricardo Botello, her biological father. I wanted to learn about his family and his history and connect with my ethnicities. His belief in family is what Ricardo says led him to become a donor. My values is family. I wanted to help those who also wanted to experience what that is all about. After Sydney turned 18, she and Ricardo slowly got to know each other. I noticed that we have the same smile and I think we have similar tendencies. But not all donor-conceived children choose to connect with their donors, like Janie Robert Adams. I personally don't plan on pursuing identity release. I have two parents who love me and so it doesn't really matter who the sperm donor was as much. Janie's brother Charlie is open to learning their donor's identity. I will probably pursue it just because I, I am at least somewhat interested as like what they did as a person in their life. Alice Ruby, executive director of the Sperm Bank of California, says some kids want to know, others don't. And for those who do contact their donors, the nature of those relationships is varied. Some of them have a couple emails and that's it. Some of them may talk on the phone. Some of them may meet in person. Some of them develop ongoing relationships. For Good Morning America, Becky Worley, ABC News, Oakland, California. Because it comes down to being a personal choice yeah. for both yeah. the young person and their parents. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.